I know that uh, you had mentioned that one of the things that that sort of polished Steve and softened him were failures in his willingness to have some introspection into those failures and learn from those failures. Uh, and I know you have some thoughts around the word failure and simultaneously us knowing that you know it's good for us, but also it's scary. Tell us more about that, like what, how, how you've learned from failure, how you've managed and dealt with that at Pixar and created a safe space for people. Here's the problem. There are two meanings to the word failure that we use typically. There's one of them, which is starting with school, if you fail a class or fail a, fail a test, it's bad because it means either you screwed up, you, you screwed around, or you're stupid. I mean, there, there's the negative implications with that. But then you come out into the real world, and there are failures like buildings fail or bridges fail, relationships fail, and in, and in business and in politics, failures um, are used as bludgeons with which to beat opponents. So there is a real and palpable aura of danger around failure. The second meaning of failure is that we all know, I won't bother to go through the exercise because you all raise your hand and say, how many of you have learned from your failures? And you'd all say yes, because you have. And you recognize that the failures were part of learning. And it's an, it's a, an important part of our educational growth. And that's a positive meaning. Our problem is that it's almost impossible for us to separate out these two meanings. The, the first step is to say, well, understand the difference, but that meaning, the negative meaning, is too powerful. It just gets in the way. And I realized that at Pixar, we don't really use the word failure very much. And I think it's probably it should be removed uh, or reserved more for things that are actually real problematic or real failures. Most of the things that, that go wrong are just things that go wrong you try to fix. Are they really failures? Well, not really. So when we're making our movies or writing software or doing anything like that, there are things that don't work. You look at them, you get together, you discuss it, and you go back and you fix it. We're not using the terminology of failure. We're using the terminology of problem solving and working to help each other be better at what we do. But our mindset should be that we're in this to help each other uh, fix these problems. But there are two other issues about uh, failure. One of them is that it's asymmetric with respect to time. And by that I mean that we only have the luxury of calling something educational after it happened. But if, if we had this educational experience and we'd say, oh, okay, I learned a lot from that, that doesn't mean the next risk we're taking is going to be any easier. All right, so we're not drawing those kind of conclusions from it. But the other one is that there are some things that where failure is used in a binary fashion, like I made a right decision or I made a wrong decision. I failed or I didn't fail. That's a rather binary terminology. So um, let me give an example of something that is more complicated and it's one that's, that you're more likely to, to run into. Uh, and it's certainly something we ran into. And, and that is, you need a, a position that you're going to fill. And uh, so you, you pick somebody that you believe has earned the right to uh, hold this position. So you give them a, a, you take a chance on somebody to do well. And usually, and I, what I found is, usually when you take a chance like that, it works out well. Once in a while, they don't. All right, now it's embarrassing to them. It's almost like a setback if they're not able to do the job or they get removed from it. And we're the ones that ask them to do it. So we've actually put them in a position where there's some uh, harm to them or even psychological harm because they couldn't do the job. So now the question is, did we make a mistake when we gave them the chance to do it? In that case, yes. but. If we didn't, if we say, I'm only going to give it to the job if I know they can do it, 
then we're making a mistake because we're not giving people opportunities. So to not give them that chance would also be a mistake. So to the question of did we make a mistake by giving the person the opportunity, the answer is yes and no. And it's true with a lot of our decisions. It's, we tend to think of them from binary things, but they're not really binary. And if we're to work in a, in a field where there's risk and challenges and new people coming in and you're giving opportunity, then you don't always know and we have to be comfortable with the fact that we're going to end up with, in some cases, uncomfortable situations. I don't find that, as I think about it, that the terminology of failure actually works very well in those circumstances. And that a lot of times it's more subtle.